Hey guys, it's Marissa at Kitchen Table Stamper. I'm uh, coming to you today with uh, another rosette tutorial. I've got my um, one piece cut out. This is going to be a full size rosette, so I've got one piece cut out. And I'm just working on the score lines on the second rosette here. Um, I put together this little medallion. It's um, Too Cute to Spook. The sentiment and the ghosts are from Too Cute to Spook. I cut the ghosts out after stamping them with a VersaFine ink on sugar cardstock and just popped them up. I also used um, the Spooky Fence die to embellish. I've got this rosette and it's on the paper straw. Here's our paper straws. Aren't they fantastic? We've got them in onyx, we've got them in orange, um, they come in lime and cherry. So four different colors. Great for the holidays. Good holiday colors coming up. Um, I took the onyx one and I did the rosette and then glued it in with some hot melt glue. Okay. Decorated the front side of this rosette just the same way. And what I'm going to do is for the centerpiece, because it is a three dimensional object that you're going to be able to see from all different sides, I decided that I wanted to make these little straw rosettes. Um, I wanted to make them double sided. So there's my little rosette and I'm just going to finish up the back side here. I wanted to show you one more time too how to put this little guy together. Okay, so I've got the two pieces. They're both scalloped, but what you need to do is make sure that your scallops continue across both the same side and you end with one side up and one side down because you're going to glue those together pattern side to pattern side or pattern side to white side. You don't want to glue them white side to white side because that's going to leave a funny little edge inside your rosette. Okay, so pattern side to pattern side and then, or pattern side to white side, I put the hot melt on the pattern side and this, then I add the second piece right over top there, do you see? I hope it's coming through clearly on the camera. Okay, so there it is. Glued that together and then I'm gonna bring it around, make a continuous loop. And here is a little bit of hot melt glue. There we go. And then for this one, because the backside isn't going to be uh, visible. We're going to cover it up. I'm going to bring in my craft mat again and put this one together on the craft mat. Okay, so I've got the scallop side down, the pattern side out, and then I'm just going to gather it into my left hand and I just use the right hand to kind of push it together and gather as I go. Once I've got it all in my left hand, then I can just gently push and there's a rosette. Okay, now I'm going to pull the trigger two or three times, get some hot glue just directly on this um, craft mat and then put lift my rosette. And it's really hard to see the glue, I know. Um, maybe I can zoom in just a little bit for you and maybe you'll be able to see a little better. I hate zooming in. I feel like I'm going to make you guys dizzy, but all right. So you can see here's the glue in a puddle and I've got my rosette. I'm going to pick it up and then expand the opening around the glue and then I'm going to push it together, pushing the glue up into the center of that rosette and get it about the size that I want there, working the glue into the different fan folds of the rosette and then I'm going to hold it for a second until it cools. Then I'll put it aside and let it cool completely. Once it's cooled completely it pulls right off of this craft mat. Alright, I'm back and that rosette is cool. I just popped it right off of the craft mat. There it is. And I wanted to show you too. I went and got one of each of these. These are the Muse Studio paper straws. They're gorgeous colors. Nice and bright. Got the orange and the black for Christmas or for Halloween. Even the green looks cool in there. And then the red and the green. Great Christmas colors. And I don't know if you hear that. Like that's what I was so impressed with when I saw these paper straws in the catalog. I was like, how can those possibly be cool? Like are they sturdy? What can I do with them? 
Well, of course I can use it as a straw, but the nice part is they're really sturdy. So it makes an excellent um, support for this rosette that we're making here. All right, so I've got my rosette. The front is finished, and then the paper straw is glued in with the hot glue. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is glue the two rosettes together. And when I do that, I am going to use my hot melt and I'm going to go kind of along the spokes of this. It's almost like spokes on a wheel, you see that? And I'm just trying to put a little bit of the hot melt on the edges here of each of these little folds. You don't have to work too quick. The glue actually will, hold, will keep its heat and hold for quite a while. Go around a little bit and then I'm gonna put a little extra above that straw okay and then because the Muse Studio paper is white on one side and printed on the other side what I want to do is work carefully here to kind of line up my orange rosette on this side so that the white one shows very minimally when you're looking at it from the front side okay okay I'm gonna refill my glue gun there Add some hot melt on the decorative piece here that stands up. And again, you want to use the hot melt because that's going to really give this some more stability because it's going to go into some floral foam and make a great little centerpiece. But how cute is that? little Halloween wand. It's a great decoration all by itself, but as part of my centerpiece, it really just pops. All right, so that's it. There's our little Halloween rosette. Thanks for stopping by. I really hope that you enjoyed the project. Email me at marissa at kitchentablestamper.com if you have any questions. And join me on the web, kitchentablestamper.com.